So we are going to look at um, how we can determine uh, the reduction formula that involves a function, um, the function of uh, uh, cotangent. Okay, uh, so we can re uh, relate this in the form um, cotangent n minus two of x multiplied by cotangent squared of x dx. Okay, so uh, I'm going to express this part in terms of um, the identity that has to do with a uh, cotangent squared of x. So I know to say a uh, cotangent squared of x is simply equals to cosecant squared of x minus 1. Okay, so what I'll have is I'm going to have a uh, cotangent n minus 2x, okay, open bracket, cosecant squared of x minus 1 dx there, okay. So I'm going to have the integral of, I'm going to distribute what I have here, cotangent n minus 2x uh, cosecant squared of x minus cotangent n minus 2 uh, of x there, then we have dx. Okay, so I'm going to write these as separate integrals. Um, what I'm going to have is uh, the integral of uh, cotangent n minus 2 x uh, then cosecant squared x uh, minus the integral of cotangent n minus 2 x dx there okay so I think there's some that I've left out I'm supposed to place uh, dx there then minus integral of uh, cotangent n minus 2 x dx there okay so what will happen is that uh, at this stage I'm going to do integration by parts for this part alone. Okay, so just this part. We're going to do integration by parts, then we're going to maintain uh, this other side. We leave it the way it is. So I'm just trying to I'll just try to set it aside. We'll get back to it a bit later. Okay, so we have a uh, minus integral of cotangent n minus two um, x dx. Okay. So we need that part on the on the bottom. We need to use it. So in this case we have to determine which one is going we are going to use as our u and which one we are going to use as our as our dv. Okay. So that's what we have right there. So we're going to say uh, let our u okay we're going to allow our u to be equals to uh, cotangent n minus two of x then our dv to be equals to uh, cosecant squared of x okay so meaning our du will be equals to n minus two okay then the derivative uh, the derivative of uh, cotangent is simply minus cosecant squared of x. Then we're going to have, uh, of course, cot n minus 3 x there. Then our v will be equals to, of course, it's the integral of um, cosecant squared of x, which is minus cotangent x there. Okay, so I'm going to multiply our u by our v. That will give us, um, uh, that, that's, that's going to give us something like um, a minus, um, Okay, we're going to have a minus cotangent n minus 1 of x. Okay, so um, the, we have the powers here. We have a, n minus 2. Here we have a 1. So they're adding each other. Hence, that's where we have we, the n minus 1 is coming from. Okay, minus the integral of um, v du. Okay, so we have a negative here and have a negative here. So th that will become a positive, meaning I'm maintaining this negative here. I don't have to make it a, uh, as a positive as well. And I have my n minus 2 there, so I'll put n minus 2. Then the integral of, so I have a cotangent here, uh, and um, I have a cotangent there. Of course, uh, I have a 1 there and I have a 3, so adding them, it gives me a 2. So I'm going to have uh, cosecant squared of x multiplied by cotangent n minus 2 of x dx okay so what happens uh, we have minus cotangent n minus 1 x minus n minus 2 
uh, integral of so I'm going to express this in terms of what in terms of um, is the trigger identity so we need to keep in mind that um, cosecant squared of x is simply equals to um, is simply equals to uh, cotangent squared of x plus 1 okay so we have a uh, cotangent squared of x okay cotangent squared of x plus 1 that is in brackets then cotangent n minus 2 x dx all right so that would be that will simply be equals to minus cotangent n minus 1 x minus n minus 2 okay then the integral of we're going to distribute what we have there um, that's going to give us um, that's going to give us something like uh, we have a 2 here and we have a 2 there that's a negative the other one is positive so we're just going to remain with a cotangent of n n of x okay plus a cotangent uh, n minus 2 of x dx so as usual we write that um, as, as, sep as separate integrals so we're going to have minus uh, cotangent n minus 1 x minus n minus 2 okay then the integral of cotangent of uh, cotangent cotangent n of x dx minus uh, n minus 2 then the integral of uh, cotangent n minus 2 of x dx then I, I can bring back this part now minus uh, integral of cotangent n minus 2 x dx okay so now at this stage which is just a matter of correcting the like terms because I have a cotangent to the power n of x here and this is what we are looking for here okay so it's just a matter of correcting the like terms and when you correct the like terms you're going to factor out what you have here and in fact out is like in the previous examples uh, that we that we have done you're going to remain with the integral of uh, cotangent nx dx here we're supposed to have one so we're going to have a one here so remember to say this would be a, this was a positive to become I mean this that's what is a negative to become a positive positive then you're going to have n minus 2 there is equals to whatever is remaining here which is minus cotangent n minus 1 x there okay so when you look at this part as well those two are alike so we can factor out um, we can factor out the integral of cotangent n minus 2 x dx then open bracket what you're going to remain with here is um, your n minus 2 then here we're going to have uh, a positive 1 okay we're going to have a positive 1 there like that okay so now this remains as integral of cotangent of x dx in the brackets you're going to remain with uh, n minus 1 is equals to minus cotangent n minus 1 of x minus integral of cotangent uh, n minus 2 of x dx then what what do we remain with uh, we're going to remain with n minus 1 here like that okay which makes us to move a step further into uh, coming up with uh, the final uh, reduction formula that we are looking for okay so I'm going to divide both sides by what you have here so we're going to remain with uh, the integral of a cotangent of n of x in fact I think I can just write it at this point okay so that will be equals to uh, minus cotangent of n minus 1 of x minus uh, cotangent n minus 2 x dx uh, but at that, at, that, at that part remember to say we have the coefficient which is n minus 1 so I'm going to have uh, n minus 1 there in the brackets then the integral of cotangent n minus 2 x dx so divide by what we have here which is our n minus 1 and um, this happens to be the the reduction formula that we were looking for that has to do with uh, cotangent thank you very much for watching